Hi. I'm ready when you're ready. Hey, I'm all set for a voyage. Today I'm going to show you um, a little bit of an abstract, maybe a semi-abstract painting of ships. I hope you get in the mood. Like, like I, I just put my sailor hat on and I'm all set. Um, it's going to be an acrylic today, and I'm going to show you um, not only uh, what I'm thinking, the thoughts I'm thinking, and as I prepare this uh, video, I'm thinking about uh, something more uh, into a deeper subject. Um, a lot of times, I always pray uh, for help to make my videos inspiring. And this video is going to be, uh, I hope, a lesson for you to look at and think about. And um, if I can capture the feeling that I have, uh, I hope that you also will capture the feeling. I'm using a 30 by 30 canvas. Uh, I've already got some paint on it. Um, I'll turn it around a little bit and you can see some on my easel. Um, can't see the whole thing yet, but it's a 30 by 30. And uh, it's, um, it's going to be a big painting. It takes a lot of uh, uh, strokes, but right now it, it's just got texture on it. This is nothing, this won't be the color or anything. So you can use old canvases that you've started and you didn't go anywhere with, and that's what I'm doing today. And so I hope that you'll enjoy this video and just take this voyage with me. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm starting now. Uh, you can't see the whole canvas because it's really a 30 by 30 and it's really big. And I'm going to be doing a fast, more or less, uh, painting. Uh, I want to cover um, a lot of it. And um, I'm using a, a green... Um, a granola violet and a, uh, also a um, sap green. And all I'm going to do is just, I've got this big handy brush and I'm covering up a lot of this stuff because it's not going to be in, in this pitch, this painting. Uh, maybe some places I might leave, but right now, as you see, uh, it's pretty thin on. I'm not putting it on thick. I'm kind of just kind of covering up some of it. And um, this is just one of the ways that I start a painting. And um, I got to sort of envision what I'm going to do. A lot of times I spray it so it's wet, but right now I'm just kind of letting it be a little bit um, transparent, let little of those colors show through. And um, I'm just using a paper plate, by the way. And you see, your paper plates are great for acrylic because, you know, if you use a paper plate, you just throw it away. It doesn't hurt nothing, does it? Does. Okay. That's the first... This is the first step I'm doing, and I think I'm going to have to stand up. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of, of a, a yellow ochre type. I have to look and see the bottle, but just a minute, I'll tell you what it is. All right, now, you know, I might just turn it off for a minute until I get this covered so it doesn't take up a lot of time, if you don't mind. 
Okay. Okay. Now I've just put one coat. As you can see, it's mostly green. Uh, my colors, uh, I, you see, I've got a lot of that dark in there. And it's going to be dark. It's going to be a dark painting. Um, so you put this on first. And I'm going to let it dry a little bit. Well, first of all, I'm going to show you a little kind of trick, too. You see, I've got some golden guanacuana. It says nickel as a as a as a gold <laughs> and I'm gonna just kinda pour it on. I think I'm gonna you can wait wait and see. There it goes. See? Pour it on like that. And then I'll take my brush, kinda hit the brush some of the liquid off. And I'm gonna put it in here. Okay, because I'm layering this I'm layering this, uh, these colors, and uh, it, this is not the final color, and uh, but just it's giving me texture, and it's also giving me a variety of different colors, and I I kind of like to do sometimes I like to do them this way. This is not always the way I do it, but um, it's it's an easy way, and you know. For you beginners that are doing acrylic, uh, this is uh, really for you in a way because it shows you uh, what you can do. Uh, now, see, I could spray that if I wanted to, but right now I'm kind of satisfied in what's going on. I kind of watch and see what's going on because this is going to be um, a dramatic more of a dramatic type of painting and um, I want to be sure it's um, and, and, you know here's the thing this is a well let's see it's called a splat I get but I'm going to do something else because I want a little texture on this this is your um, um, permanent violet dark it's handy to have a big brush like this because it's hard, it's hard to, for me to stand up very long, and uh, it's nice to be able to sit down, and reach, too. I'm just kind of spreading it around a little bit. You see what I'm doing here? With acrylic, you know, you can, you can do anything with acrylic. So those that. Of starting acrylic, just remember that you can cover anything up. You see, I've got some grips down there, but you know what? They may stay there. I don't know. Now look at how dark that is. And you know what happens? After it dries, it's really dark. It dries dark. You know, like watercolor dries light. Acrylic drives dark. Okay.